Hello, Facebook, YouTube. Um, this uh, topic of the message is trying, you know, what I, the stuff that I give you mainly uh, is what God is telling me concerning like on Romans 13 uh, talks about the honest to, that we should be honest. Let us walk honestly. The thing is, because honestly, being honest is the truly, like, truly way of really becoming a godly person. You cannot, you cannot, I repeat, cannot become godly without honesty. You can't. Truly, true godliness comes from true honesty. And if you try to be high-minded in some some kind of way, to try to uh, uh, be a Christian, it's not gonna work. It's not. It, it's you can't be truly genuine concerning of uh, being. You know, honest. You have to be honestly, honesty, honest when it comes to being a true Christian. Being a Christian, period, point blank. You know, it shouldn't be an idea of a true Christian. You know, it just should be a Christian, really. You know, you gotta be honest. All right, that's not the message, but uh, but it's pertaining to message because I'm finna ask you an honest the God question. I'm finna uh, ask you an honest question, and I hope you ask yourself this question. You know, and the topic of the message is: Are you of the flesh or are you of the spirit? And it's an honest question that you got to ask yourself. I mean, what is what is between these two uh, substance, really? Which one is going to give me life or which one is going to give me death? You know what I'm saying? Which one do I see that makes me, me? You know what I'm saying? Which one... Do I identify that I because which because which one that makes you you is what you will magnify and what you will invest in more concerning your decision making of how you conduct yourself, how you will want to be seen among people, how you will do. You will do certain things concerning the flesh or concerning the spirit. You know what I'm saying? The thing is, it all well, it will all boil down to that reality because that's what Jesus really trying to tell us in the garden of Gethsemane. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. And you're going to be weak or you're going to be willing. You know what I'm saying? To do the things of God or you know, you're going to you know, you're going to be he said you're going to be willing to do the things of God or you're going to be too weak. Too weak to do the things of God. And that's the thing that you have to honestly address to yourself. Because everybody, when you start addressing this to yourself, you start thinking, you know, people, I notice about people uh, that operate in the flesh, they consider other people. <laughs> what about uh, this person think? What about that person think? Men, because in that, you know, when you think, when it's about other people, that means that your mind is very conformed to this world you very conform uh that you need men uh to uh appease please you of of how you look and what kind of person you are you're concerned about that you know what i'm saying you're concerned about men's pleasure instead of the pleasure of god hmm sound like one of those things paul said that in the last and evil days that people will be more you know, men pleasers and God pleasers. How correct are they? But um, the thing is, you're concerned about this audience of uh, men. And the thing is, and, and when it's a concern of audience of men, it's about the flesh. You know what I'm saying? And it's going to have you weak to do the things of God. You know what I'm saying? It's going to have you weak to speak up about the things of God, to perform the things of God, to love one another, to have joy of the Lord as your strength, have peace that passes all understanding. And, you know, to, and love your enemies, you know, and bless those that curse you. 
and pray for them that despitefully use you. You will have a difficult time doing that because of who you think you are or you think you are of the flesh or of the spirit that you have to ask yourself. Now, here's the thing. Like, you know, uh, like what Paul says, you know, 6, Romans 6, 23, the wages of sin is death. You know, gift of God is eternal life. There, this, when you, when flesh is your, is, is who you are, flesh, death. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, spirit of, spirit, eternal life. That's how it goes. And that's what is going to go whether you don't want to believe it or not because the thing is people think they're, you know, God, they like to play with God's grace. You know what I'm saying? And God God is a just God. You know what I'm saying? He will just he will give justice according to your actions concerning, you know, your desire of wanting to be closer to him or not be closer to him. And people are not respect. I see a lot of people are not respecting what how God's plan system is working, and they're trying to you know justify the flesh. You know what I'm saying? That the flesh, you know, I should be about this fleshly activity. You know what I'm saying? And I should, you know, it should be the type of thing that I invest in more more than the other one. You know what I'm saying? It's like you know people. Think, I uh, think they because they think they're stupid. They think God's stupid. Mm. Uh, no, God's no fool. He he runs his. Rich Mullen says he, you know, it, it, you know he he reigns with wisdom and power and love. But first, wisdom. You know, we're dealing with a wise God. We're not dealing with a foolish God. You know what I'm saying? You know, the thing is because we, you know, a foolish person start to be believe that God is foolish you know um no you're foolish uh, because a God is wise and he will make wise judgments concerning what he about concerning the, your direction of life but the, here's the thing what King Solomon is trying to kind of say when I you know I like to look through Proverbs a lot and he's kind of trying to say that your own Wisdom or your own deceit or your own your you will become a victim of your own Your own Deceit your own wickedness will always be the one that be your downfall not got really God, but your own <laughs> You know what I'm saying everybody like to you know say oh God no your own Because respect the commandment he said God gave men dominion you have uh, authority to choose whether to do uh, right or wrong you got to respect that reality of the game of life that a lot of people don't res not respecting you know they think you know uh, I can easily you know do this and do that you know say no this thing is about the reality of this thing is like I say drawing closer to God this is about going to heaven. This is about being about the heaven standard. This is about you going after heaven. You know what I'm saying? On earth. You know what I'm saying? It's not about, you know, really earth. You, how you living and how people look at you and think that you great or something on earth. This is about going up to heaven. Like, you know, uh, I love it. You know, Hebrews 12 is about, you know, uh, lay aside every weight, you know. And the sin that beset us, but it's all about look going to heaven, looking to Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, that we will be at his throne. It's, it's about getting to the throne of God. You know what I'm saying? Not creating your own throne on earth. It's about getting to the throne of God. That's what this, you know, Christianity is supposed to be all about. And that will determine, you know, flesh and spirit, you know. I mean, you know, the thing is, Jesus Christ got rid of his flesh, you know what I'm saying, that, you know, he will be seated at the right hand of the Father. You know, it's so cool when you see that procedure that Jesus, you know, got, you know, died, and you read Acts, and you read about Peter, got filled with the Holy Ghost, and Peter is showing the order 
of what happened that, you know, he see now Jesus seated at the right hand of his father in heaven. You know what I'm saying? He's talking about that, you know, giving really the proclamation to me to the church of the reality of, 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 of how, I mean, how the church was established. You know what I'm saying? And that Jesus is at the right hand of the Father. And that's where our finishing part, that's where Christians finish. On the throne. That's our finish line. That's what Paul is saying is to us in Hebrews. That, you know, the throne is our finish line. And the only way we can get to that throne is not by power, not by might, but by the Spirit. Alright, I hope you get, and not the flesh. <laughs> I hope you get the message. I hope you be all about the spirit. I hope you want to seek after the fruit of the spirit, which is going to be the main things that will consist of you, you know, going to heaven um, and be about righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. Yep, that will help you get to heaven. And not, you know, look, understand that you we are created by the dust of the ground and God blew breath in us and we came a living soul by the spirit. But and we develop a flesh by the spirit. You know what I'm saying? The flesh is a bunch of nonsense. You know what I'm saying? It's just it will just rot in the ground. You know why? You know you 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 at a spiritual place, either heaven or hell. All right, that's the message. To God be the glory. To Him forever and ever. In Jesus' name, Amen.